Okay, next I'm going to share with you feet and straps and short spine from the classical work. This is what got me hooked on Pilates. As a competitive figure skater, I had extremely tight glutes and hamstrings, and I still to this day have really tight hip flexors. I really feel like feet and straps has definitely helped my flexibility the most out of anything. And I remember taking my first Pilates class loving feet and straps so much that I could not wait to go back to my next class to feel that movement again. I liked it, it was so much better than just stretching. It was strengthening, lengthening, and toning, like we all say in Pilates, but it was for real. I absolutely loved it, and it was this exercise that got me hooked on Pilates many, many years ago, and here I am today. So um, anyways, I'm going to demonstrate feet and straps. So I scoot forward here like this. By the way, I have one red and one green spring on and I'm gonna use the short loops. Remember, I keep my straps a little bit longer than most. This is the classical length. My short loops come all the way to the shoulder rest. The long loops are just a little bit past that. So if you have your loops shorter or your straps shorter, you might wanna opt for lighter springs. So from here, I'm gonna go into my roll down. I'm gonna take a great big inhale to prepare. And then exhale, I'm gonna find that Pilates scoop as I slowly roll down, imprinting my spine down onto the reformer, one vertebrae at a time. All right, so now I'm gonna find my short loops. I was taught that your feet come into the shorter loops. I was trained on leather ropes, and the leather loop came to here, and then the wooden handle came out here. So that's why I keep my ropes this length. That's how I was trained. Do, what, do what's best for you. As long as your springs accommodate the length of your ropes, it's totally fine with me. So your hands are here. The first thing I cue for clients, especially newer clients, you notice they're gonna have their tails up in the air. So I cue tailbone heavy, not your low back, the tailbone definitely needs to be heavy on the reformer. And then fingertips are along. You can have the palms to the ceiling, whatever works best for you. Ribs are connected. My core is nice and strong. Inner thighs are together. I'm gonna inhale lower. I don't wanna to go too low that my low back lifts and my ribs open. With my lower doses, I can't go quite as low as other people. And then I'm gonna exhale, come back up, maintaining the length in my fingertips and my spine. Tailbone is heavy and I'm getting a nice yummy stretch. I've practiced this a lot so I can actually um, go up a little farther than some. I'm gonna inhale lower, staying connected right here. Now just because, even though this is, an this is a leg exercise, I'm still fo focusing on my breath and I'm contracting my abdominals as my feet come back up on the exhale. No matter what the exercise, I'm always contracting the abs or the abdominal muscles on the exhale. So right here. And because this is a simple movement, this is a perfect opportunity to talk to your newer clients or even your older clients, uh, reminding them about the breath and the purpose of the breath. Now I'm gonna go into circles. I'm gonna lower down in parallel. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open from the hips, turning out the toes. Then I'm gonna circle my legs around, keeping that nice neutral pelvis. Inhale lower maintaining a nice strong core a connected core exhale circling and it feels so good i did so much leg work today you guys so my hamstrings are so tight this feels so good to do at the end of a class or beginning of a class a lot of times i warm up with feet and straps a lot of times i cool down with feet and straps you can't get enough of it now i'm going to reverse I'm gonna open it out, and I'm gonna draw those heels together. So at the top of, inner, of my inner thigh, zipping the inseam of my leggings together. Then my feet come back to parallel, and I come back up to the ceiling. And I'm opening from the hips, circling it around, zipping the thighs together all the way down to the ankles. Legs come back to parallel. One more here. It's so hard to talk through. I just wanna breathe and enjoy it. Now let's go into frog. Heels are together, toes are turned out. I really stress squeezing your heels together, especially for newer clients. You'll notice newer clients, as they're doing this, they're constantly shimmying like that. So to prevent that, you really, if you really squeeze the heels together, both legs are gonna fire a little bit more evenly. It's gonna prevent that shaking. 
So squeezing the heels together, lifting up from the pelvic floor. I'm going to lengthen the legs down, not straighten them. I'm thinking lengthen, and then I'm going to resist the springs closing or the carriage closing. And again, inhale, lengthen. Remember, tailbone is heavy, pelvis is neutral, abdominals are tight. <sighs> Lift up from the pelvic floor. Lift away from your coming back in. So you're working both directions. I'm inhale lengthening and working and I'm going to exhale right here. Resist it coming back in. One more. Oops, a little shimmy there. Now I'm going to go into a swimming or a British frog. I'm going to extend out. Now start at the top of the inner thighs. I'm going to draw the heels back together and now reverse frog. Exhale, draw it together. Now let's reverse. I'm going to inhale, lengthen. One more. Now I know classically um, feet and straps is done with the headrest up, but when I train teachers, I train to keep the headrest down because a lot of times I do feet and straps before short spine and we don't want to forget to put that headrest down. It's not great for the client's cervical spine. Also, they're not able to lift as high. So just it's one of those things that I've trained myself to do and I think it helps because you, you feel really bad when you notice three reps into short spine that someone's headrest is up. So I, for myself, prefer to put it down right away so I don't forget. And also some people don't know how to do it and they think they've lowered it and they haven't. So that's just my opinion. So my headrest is already down. I'm gonna go into short spine here. I'm gonna lengthen the legs long. Now, I'm gonna scoop the abdominals as I press into my arms to lift my hips and toes up, allowing the carriage to close all the way. Now, maintaining this lift right here, the lift from my hips to my ribs. I want to maintain that lift as I bend my knees, bring my knees over my shoulders. Now, I'm gonna keep my feet where they, are, where they are as I roll my hips away from my feet, lowering my spine one vertebrae at a time. I'm keeping my feet there to the very last second. Now, I go back into that frog position, lengthen it long, scooping the abdominals as I lift up. My arms are helping, helping but I'm initiating the lift from the pelvic floor into those deep transverse abdominal muscles. Now inhale, knees come over your shoulders. Again, I'm maintaining this lift right here and I'm going to keep my heels where they are. I'm going to exhale, roll the hips away from the feet, one vertebrae at a time. Now I've seen it done when the feet come down with the butt. That's fine too. This is just how I, how I was trained and this is how I train my trainees as well. Inhale. Now, let's actually, let's change it. Let's reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. We're gonna layer on a little bit of difficulty. I'm gonna inhale, lengthen the legs long. Now, I don't have my hands to help assist the lift. I have to solely require, or rely on that core. Now, exhale, I'm gonna deflate the abdominals, lift up from the pelvic floor to create the lift. Remember, the carriage has to close all the way. There we are. Now I'm gonna inhale, bend my knees, bring my knees over my shoulders. I'm gonna maintain that lift, keep my heels where they are. As I exhale, slowly come down, one vertebrae at a time. Right there, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna inhale, lengthen it long. Exhale, scoop the abdominals. As I peel the spine off, <sighs> waiting for the carriage to close. There it is. Inhale, bring your knees over your shoulders, maintaining that lift. Exhale, I'm gonna slowly come down, one vertebrae at a time. Now I'm gonna go into what I call the candlestick. So I'm gonna bring my hands back down. I'm gonna lengthen it out. I'm gonna come all the way up to that pencil right here like this, or candlestick. Now I'm gonna keep my legs straight. I'm gonna lower my hips about six inches. Exhale, squeeze those thighs together. Lift from the pelvic floor, lift it up for five. Well, usually I do 10. Exhale, lift for four, squeezing those thighs. I've got three. I feel the deep abdominal muscles in their inner thighs working. Two and one. Now we're going to maintain the lift. Come back to that frog position. 
we're gonna go into a high frog. So I'm firmly planted into the backs of my arms. I'm gonna lengthen the legs out to about a 45 degree angle, and then exhale, keeping those heels together, squeezing them, I bring it back home. And again, inhale, lengthen, squeeze those thighs together right here. Now focus on squeezing the heels together as you draw it back in. Squeeze the thighs as you lengthen, lengthening out, exhale, squeeze the heels. We're gonna do one more, Definitely every muscle in my legs are working. Woo! And then bringing it right back in here like that. Slowly coming down. That is one of my favorite series to do to warm up a class. It's a yummy one. I bring the soles of my feet here to stretch, giving my clients a little opportunity to catch their breath and to also enjoy the stretch. And then I'm gonna keep my feet together. I'm gonna to drop them into the springs and just let my hips and out really open. Now for somebody like myself who has narrow tight hips, this is a nice stretch. For some people, it's not much of a stretch at all. And then I'm gonna ditch my strap. You wanna see a cool way to, get, get the, to eliminate the straps. This is actually how I was taught to do it for my teacher training exam. You come all the way up and over like a rollover, and then you take one foot, get the strap off, take the other foot, get that strap off, and then you roll all the way up to a teaser. Ta-da! 